Hello everyone and welcome back to Project 6014. Uh, hopefully this is the last mining episode. We've had quite a few of them uh, recently. We've had uh, two episodes of that and uh, they've been pretty chilled out and I've been able to talk about stuff. Um, this is hopefully the last bit of mining we have to do. Of course we want to fuel up after the big trip over to the Aralu, uh, or not the Aralu as it turned out. Uh, it was actually Korra that we met in the end um, and a bunch of other weird um, things that we found. They were just, I guess, trolls from the uh, from the demo, but it was interesting. It was a cool thing they had these little, even though they're not actually completed, at least they're they're just adding these little things that keep people searching even in the demo. So um, it's pretty cool. Whatever. Um, it was it was quite interesting, um, and it was also good to see a Korra for the first time. A fight against that. It looks like um, the Shimmer ships are definitely still the best at fighting the Korra, I'd say. I'd, I'd say they're probably the best. I mean, we don't have any uh, Spathy ships because they're just hiding up on their on their home planet under the sla Slave Shield still. Um, you'd think that the Shamur would try to break the Slave Shield since they did it to other planets, so... I don't know, maybe maybe they just didn't feel like it. Maybe they just felt the Spathy were just not worth uh, getting help from. So, yeah, whatever. Um, so I think that... Um, we need to go back to Procyon today, get the fuel, and then start actually having a look properly uh, now that we've checked out all the other stuff. Uh, we can go and check out the crash sites that the um, Shafixti uh, have given us. Not the crash sites, the more the um, the scout areas. And then we've also got the crash site that goes around the whole sort of radius uh, around uh, uh, Procyon in hyperspace. Um, but we definitely uh, want to check out the crash sites because um, we might find different things that the Shafixti have run into, and they might have uh, died due to something, and there might be new races that have destroyed them. There may have been Kora. So hopefully we can take down any enemies that are around those areas. Um, so I'm thinking that we'll do that. Um, and then once we have done that, and if it turns out there's nothing there, then we'll just uh, head in a big loop, go back around to Procyon, uh, do a little bit of mining, and then maybe start traveling down into the lower left areas of the map um, and seeing if we can start get down there, down there. Of course it's going to be a lot more difficult since we don't have the Melnorme to give us fuel on the way. Um, it's a long way back to um, to the uh, to Procyon without the quasi uh, portal, quasi portal spawner. So we can't just like teleport halfway across the map, but, um, but whatever. Uh, so that's sort of the things we're going to have to deal with for a little bit, is um, is loss of fuel. That's one of the main things that I think is a problem in this at the moment, is the fuel usage. Definitely a lot of fuel being used, and um, not many minerals getting brought back from the places to uh, to sustain the fuel usage. Because of course, by the time you get down to the lower left, you've used up so much fuel that the amount of resources you get, um, since you're not really going to be finding exotics very often, is, um, you know, not enough to keep you sustained for the amount of fuel you're using. Um, especially if you want to keep, uh, you know, uh, making new um, ships if they get destroyed in battle against the Korra or, you know, to re to recrew and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We'll find out, hopefully. Um, so, uh, we're now at Epsilon Juno and um, we're at this gas giant. We're mining a dust world. Um, as you can see, we've recently very much filled up our, uh, our storage tanks because last episode we really didn't do too well. Um, so, to be honest, uh, I really wanted to get a lot of minerals. Doesn't matter if they're base metals or whatever. Just wanted to get something um, because I had to think, and I thought, you know, what, it's just there's just no point in me looking around for the best minerals um, at the moment. Um, it also helps that I've played uh, Star Control 2, is that I know what some of the colours, like the purple worlds there, they're not very good for minerals, you only find like the odd base metal there or something. So I'm actually starting to learn, like, uh, off off by heart, some of the colours and what, what sort of minerals I have on them, stuff like that. So it's pretty good to, do, to know that. So hopefully we um, are good to go back to Procyon now. Um, I wonder if the Shamur have anything new to say. Um, in fact, they might even uh, we might even have something to say to them uh, when we get back there, uh, because of course we will um, tell them about the Yay Hat, um, because of course they thought the Shamo were being a little bit uh, sort of like the Urquan almost, like being a bit um, like overlords. I'm not very happy about that. 
we can tell a Shimmer that, let's see how, how unha unhappy they get about that. Um, but anyway, let's head back to Procyon, there it is. Uh, where is it? Is it? Procyon, I'll just type it in. Whatever, uh, I think it's that one just there, yeah, I just missed it, whatever. So we're going to head back there now, we've still got 92 fuel, so we're not doing too badly, and we've got a good number of minerals, so hopefully we should be able to fill our fuel tanks, and um, get on a roll again. Um, so that's good. Wow, okay, so there we go. We um, we'll go and see the, um, the Shimmer. Uh, not sure if we need to build any more ships. Um, we've got that uh, Avatar and that uh, Ye Hat ship. The Avatar did us really well, actually. I'm happy about how well that worked. So maybe we want to just keep that. Um, if we happen to run into, say, you know, three or four Marauders, then um, I might consider just running from the battle or killing two and then running from the battle while the, like, the victory um, jingle is playing. So that we get a few RUs from the battle. Um, that'd be good. Uh, oh, please don't run into him. No. Is there any assistance you might require, human captain? Not really. You sort of just barged into us. Um, in fact, yeah, the Yehat thought you were a little, a little bit pushy in this alliance. What, what do you think you're doing? Okay, um, right, what should we say to them now? Yeah, the Chenjays used to be pretty selfless about their power, so what happened to that? In the good old days you speak of, the Chenjays who had alliance was resoundingly defeated by the Iroquois hierarchy. The Shabur will take whatever steps necessary so that a similar fate does not befall the new alliance of three stars. This is our purpose. We will speak to the Gehats about this change of attitudes. That's fair enough, I guess. I guess they need to do anything they can to stop the Urquan attacking again. I, I can live with that, I can understand that. But uh, still, I mean, you know, they are definitely um, not like the Chen Jezu at all. I don't know about the Mernham, I didn't really... Uh, I didn't, I didn't really understand too much about their personality because we didn't really talk to them too much. I mean, they pitched in once in a while. Uh, not yet, uh, but I am this close to finding it, I Act promise. Quick and return here with any unusual discoveries. Only the Shabur have the capacity to analyze their meaning. They're pretty adamant at the moment, aren't they? Why are they so adamant? They're a bit, you a bit uh, weird. Oh, I didn't actually mean to click on that. Um, where's the exit button? There it is. Hey, hey, Shuba, you may recruit and refuel at our star base. Okay, so not really too too much that very useful from uh, from them. They, um, they were very adamant though. They were being a bit. Yeah, they, they, I agree with the Yehat somewhat, but at the same time, I like the Shimmer. Uh, they've got good ships, and uh, they're destroying the Urquan at the moment. Probably better than the Urquan, to be honest. The Shimmer. Um, now, oh, it does look like I'm actually lower on our youth than I originally thought I was going to be. Um, so that's unfortunate. I think I'm going to have to scrap this Yehat ship. I don't really need it. I don't really use it at all. So I might as well use it to make more RUs. Um, so there we go. The Shimmer Avatar is still fine. I don't mind that. Um, and we have a couple more RUs to just get some fuel. Um, so that should be fine. Outfit the starship. That'd be good. Um, a bit more fuel. We should be able to fill up all the way. Maybe we're not. Maybe not quite. Let's see. Gonna be close. I think we're just gonna do it. There we go. Four six nine left. Nice. So there we are. We are ready to go on our epic adventures towards uh, the crash sites now, uh, or the uh, the scout vessel disappearance sites, and we're going to go and see what happened to them. So patrol three is the first one we're going to go to probably, and then we'll make our way round uh, northwest, and then if we don't find anything in any of them, we'll just come back to Shimmer Prime, and then we'll start travelling further down into the bottom left of the map, see if there's anything down there, new races. Um, you know, let's 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 just see what happens. So yeah, hopefully it will be good. So um, yeah, there you go. 
Oh, I've got, I've got a plan. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to face, face what lies ahead. So, hopefully, we don't uh, run into anything too bad, and uh, it will be fine in the end, and we can find out what happened to those Shafixti in the uh, original cutscene. See you then.